Yo, what is going on guys? And thank you very much for coming back to my channel and I hope you're having an absolutely awesome day so far today as well. And in this video guys, I'm going to be showing you a 100% solo clean plate card duplication glitch which is going to allow you to duplicate fully upgraded Izzy's and then go on to sell these cards to make yourself unlimited money in GTA 5 Online after all its hot fixes. Now guys, this method that I'm going to be showing you in today's video, it does take a little bit more time than the previous methods that have been showing you over the past week. But guys, that's the price that you're going to have to pay to be able to get a clean plate, so you will not need custom plates to be able to do this whatsoever. And once again guys, you can make yourself unlimited money in GTA 5 Online after all its hotfixes. Now as always guys, if you do go on to like my video today, please make sure that you do leave a like on it. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're not going to miss out on any future GTA 5 online glitches but guys with all that being said let's just jump straight into this glitch so guys as always you are going to need a few things to be able to do this really easy card duplication glitch in gta 5 online now the first thing that you're going to need for this glitch guys is a bunker you need to also make sure that you have got yourself an moc and you need to make sure that your bay 3 in your moc is personal vehicle storage so you can actually store a vehicle in the back of this moc also for this glitch guys, just like a previous method, you're going to need to make sure that you do have a motorcycle clubhouse. You need to make sure that your motorcycle clubhouse does have a mod shop attached to it. And also guys, you want to place yourself a load of fuggy motorcycles in there to dupe over. Also guys, you're going to need a normal car garage. It doesn't matter what car garage it is, but you need to make sure that you've got yourself a load of fuggy motorcycles in there as well. And also guys, in one of the car garages, you want to make sure you have got yourself the car that you would like to duplicate. Now like I always say guys, make sure that there's some kind of car that's been fully upgraded at Benny's or some kind of car that's been fully upgraded using the Arena Workshop. Something like the fully upgraded is is going to sell for the most amount of money. And also guys, remember, this is a clean plate method so you will not need to place a custom plate on your vehicle to be able to do this. And then once you have got these things guys, you are now ready to begin. So the first thing that you want to do guys is you want to start off inside your bunker. You want to make your way onto the outside of your bunker on foot. Once you are on the outside of your bunker, you want to bring up your phone, call your mechanic, and now you want to request your Fagia motorcycle from the car garage. Make sure it is from the car garage and not your MC club. Now once you have requested your Fagia motorcycle from the car garage, the next thing you want to do is just go ahead and get it, and you want to ride it into your bunker. And once you are inside your bunker with this vehicle, you want to ride it up to the back of your MOC and press right on your D-pad. If it gives you an alert saying it's full, just go ahead and accept that. And then you should end up in the back of your MOC. Now from here guys you want to leave the back of your MOC. You want to walk through your bunker and you want to leave your bunker as well. And once you are on the outside of your bunker this time guys. You want to bring up your phone. You want to call your mechanic again. And now you want to request a car that you would like to duplicate. Now once this vehicle has been delivered guys. You just want to go ahead and get this vehicle as well. You want to drive it into your bunker just like what you did with the Fagio. Now this time guys when you are inside your bunker. You want to drive this up towards the back of the MOC, but you're not going to mess around with the MOC at all. You're just going to park it against this wall in front of this post, just like me in the video. And you need to make sure that it still says that you can press right on your D-pad to go into the back of your MOC in the top left hand corner. Now you're just going to leave this vehicle here. Now before we go any further guys, I just want to quickly show you my number plate on my fully upgraded Izzy. This is a custom plate, but like I said, you do not need this. I've just put this on the car so you can see this number plate change to a different plate when the glitch is done, showing you that you have got a clean plate and a freshly duped vehicle. So don't worry, if you do not have custom plates, you do not need them. I've just put that there for the purpose of the video. So like I said guys, you want to leave that vehicle there. Now you want to make your way onto the outside of your bunker on foot. Now once you are on the outside of your bunker guys, the next thing that you want to do is you need to make your way to your motorcycle clubhouse. Now you need to make sure that you do not call out a personal vehicle at this point. You can either job teleport or you can do what I'm going to do in the video and just register yourself as a CEO, request yourself a buzzard helicopter and fly to your MC clubhouse. So guys, once you do arrive at your MC clubhouse, you now want to make your way into the MC clubhouse garage on foot. And when you are inside here, you now want to jump onto one of your Fagio motorcycles. You want to press right on your D-pad to go into the mod shop. Once you're inside here guys, you just want to make a little change to this vehicle. Like change the colour of the lights or change the colour of the number plate. Just make a little change to this vehicle. And then once you have done that guys, you want to leave your mod shop. Now before we go any further guys, I just want to quickly show you the number plate on this motorcycle right here. Because this number plate will end up on our duplicated vehicle at the end of the glitch. And this is a clean plate and this is what you will be able to sell. 
So anyway guys, what you want to do from here is you now want to make your way onto the outside of your clubhouse on foot. And when you're on the outside of your clubhouse, you now want to jump back into your helicopter and you want to fly back to your bunker. Now once you do get back to your bunker guys, you want to make your way into your bunker on foot. And if this glitch has been done correctly guys, when you run down to where you patch your car originally, it should still be parked there. Now look at the number plate guys because when I jump into this vehicle you will see the number plate change for a brand new clean plate and it will be the number plate off that Fagio that we were just on. So here we go guys keep an eye on that number plate as I get into the vehicle because you're going to see it's going to change for a brand new clean plate. It'll be the number plate off that Fagio motorcycle that you were just on and now this is a duplicated vehicle with a clean plate on it. Now don't worry about the original car you were using at the start of the glitch. That has just gone back to its original car parking space. And from here guys you want to drive this duplicated vehicle up to the back of your MOC. Press right on your D-pad. You want to accept the full MOC alert. Once you've done that guys and you're in the back of your MOC with this duplicated vehicle. You just want to drive it straight back out and drive it straight back in just to make sure it is saved. Now unfortunately guys you do actually have to repeat this glitch from step 1. So to be able to start it again you need to make your way onto the outside of your bunker. And request another Fagio motorcycle from a car garage. Make sure it is a car garage and not your MC club. And you just need to repeat the steps over and over again. You can duplicate as many cars as you want. And then you can go on to sell these cars to make yourself unlimited money in GTA 5 Online after all its hot fixes. And that is pretty much it guys. Like I did say at the start of the video. If you did go on to like my video today. Please make sure that you do leave a like on it. And if you are new to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So you're not going to miss out on any future GTA 5 online glitches. Until next time guys. Thanks for watching.